Winter has officially arrived in Provence. It's crazy because the past two weeks, it was warm. What, two weeks ago, we were in Kasi and Paul was wearing a t-shirt. And now we're all bundled up and it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty cold. Today was supposed to be sunny, but we're seeing lots of clouds. I thought it was a perfect day to come to Lormarin because it was supposed to be sunshine today. And as we've been walking through the village, it is completely empty. Everybody is on vacation. It looks like everything is closed. We actually wanted to come to this hotel and have like a nice coffee and tea, but they're closed till February. It's like we're in COVID times because when I first arrived in France, all the villages were empty and that is exactly what's happening right now. But that's what it's like in January in France. And I thought I would just take you along because we are here to see what it's like in an empty village. This is Lormarin, so let me go show you around. And then I guess we're just gonna head back to X and go where it's a little bit busier. Gosh, is it insanely cold. I thought we would be more in the sunshine, but I guess the clouds keep coming by and blocking all the sun in these little streets. I should have brought my gloves. My fingers are freezing. Paul is actually doing a time lapse right now. So I'm waiting for him. It is freezing cold and completely empty here. <laughs> it's freezing, huh? It's really bad. It's so hard to keep my hands steady because I am trying to film things and I'm noticing the footage is like being very shaky because of the wind and the cold. Oh my gosh. I think it's about time we get out of the village and head to a coffee shop for a nice warm cup of coffee. What do you think? Coffee. <laughs> it's so cold. I felt rain. <laughs> Me too. Let's go. And action. <laughs> you weirdo. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Warmerin is my favorite place I've ever been to in France. It just is my favorite little village and yeah I was expecting there to be sunshine and to be able to go look in the little boutique stores that's the thing about France is you never know when things are closed yeah it's a ghost town huh? yeah it is a complete ghost blah, 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 complete ghost town it was cool to see the village empty and to be able to show you guys as well but now we are inside our little car and we are headed back home to Aix en Provence and we'll probably go just walk around hopefully Aix will be a little bit more sunny and go get a nice coffee or tea and just go enjoy being in the city because we've been indoors working a lot and uh, yeah sorry about Laura Marin guys wasn't expecting that at all <laughs> Look into the pigeon right here. That's right. But we're really going to go see some plants. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, today just seems like one of those days where nothing is going my way. The 
cafe is completely full, which is great. I'm happy for them. But now we are off to find another little cafe. Where do you think? Are you thinking little place? Yeah, we're right there. Yeah, we're by the church. Okay, so hopefully uh, we can find a nice place to sit. There's plenty of places to, to have coffee here, but it's more of like espresso. And Paul is not a fan of just having an espresso. So we always try and look for a place where we could have a cup of coffee. So let's see if we can find a place. It's a lot of syrup. And the verdict? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good? So we tried that new place. We've never been there before. It's very cute. Paul enjoyed his waffle. He said it was really good. I enjoyed my chai. It wasn't like the best chai, but it was good. The coffee was a no for Paul and I tasted it and I thought the same. So we always go to Mana because they have the best coffee. The funny thing is, is they actually serve Mana's coffee there, but just didn't taste the same. So that's why we always stick to the same spots every time, but we thought we'd try something new. The lighting is just perfect right now outside. I'm loving it. It is a lot more lively here in X than it was in Lord Marin. We're about to head to Monopri to go pick up some groceries. And then I think we're gonna head home. Made it back home. Today did not go my way at all, but that's life. I'm in what feels like my new bedroom because Paul and I actually painted this week. We've been wanting him to do this for years. I can't believe I've been living in Aix-en-Provence for two and a half years now. It's just so crazy to think how fast time flies by. And I was trying to really stay in that positive mindset today, even though things kept happening to me that I was just like, why? And sometimes it's hard to just remain positive all the time so I was a little upset because today's video as well didn't go as planned. I really wanted to show Lord Marin even though I've showed it many times on this channel before but I don't know it's just a place that usually always brings me a lot of joy so I felt like going there and yeah it was just it is what it is but I hope you guys did enjoy the imagery that I shot today in Lormarin and Aix-en-Provence. It has just been too cold for me. I also don't do well in the cold. I just get kind of moody and the wind is really, really strong here right now. My hands were freezing trying to do some photography and videography and just one of those days. So I hope you guys are having a much better day and sorry to bring down the mood if that's what I'm doing, but just trying to be real. And hopefully next week's video will go as planned. But I guess I'll see you guys next week uh, for another video. And uh, have a lovely day or evening. Bye. Okay, so, okay. Yes, Sophie, mommy's trying to film right now. I had this idea about filming this video. <laughs> I'm telling you today is just Sophia. Mommy 